Hey everyone, I'm Chris and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is part 2 of a tutorial series I'm making for people new to starting a YouTube channel. So today I'm going to show you how to make an animated end screen using Keynote. First things first, Keynote is an Apple product that comes free with the new Mac laptops and desktop computers. However, with the older products, Keynote doesn't come free, but you can still buy it from the App Store. I just checked it out. It's priced at $19.99. I can't really decide for you if you think it's worth it. Personal opinion, I think it's worth buying. It's not that expensive and it's a one-off purchase. So let's start with a new document. I usually start with a white background and I also get rid of these default text boxes. So before anything else, go to document at the upper right hand corner to change the size of the page. Go to custom slide size and put 1350 by 760. So write this down because it will be this size every time. It doesn't change. First, I'm going to drag a background. It's something I've already downloaded from the internet. I'll just expand it to fill the space. You can choose whatever background you want. It can be a photo you took. Some people put a full body photo of themselves like this. It can be anything. You can take inspiration from YouTube channels you watch or you can take inspiration from my design. Just credit me in the description box and link this tutorial so that we can help out more people. Next thing I'm going to do is to add my Instagram account at the top. For the logo, I'm going to search for a PNG file online. So I'm going to stress this. It has to be a PNG file so that you won't have to remove the background on Photoshop. So PNG file means less work for you to do. I'm actually looking for something neutral, like a maybe a black, black and white Instagram logo. So this actually looks cool, so I'm going to go with this one, but I'm not sure if it's a PNG file, we'll have to see. So it's not because it still has the white strips on the side, so I'll show you the difference. This colored logo is a PNG file, where you can see the edges are clean, there isn't an opaque background, and the other one is obviously a JPEG file. I'll just use a logo that I've downloaded earlier. You can resize your image however you want it. And now I'll add my Instagram account beside it. So shameless Instagram promotion, guys. Please follow me on Instagram at Chris Kimbo. That's where I share my travel photos and help me get to 20,000 followers. Okay, back to the tutorial. I'll leave these spaces here for two of my videos I'm promoting on my end screen. The next thing I'm going to add is a call for action to ask people to subscribe to my channel because that's what you want people to do. Ultimately, you want them to subscribe to your channel so that you get more views in the future. I'm going to make this big and bold to catch attention. There are several fonts you can choose from. You can also change the color, but I'm sticking to my minimal theme and the color is black, white, and gray. Next thing to do is to add an arrow. There are different shapes you can choose from. You can also change the color, the size, and the angle of these shapes like what I'm doing now. There are so many things you can do on Keynote. Just have a play with the software to familiarize yourself. And it's also very user-friendly. So I'll point my arrow right about here and the subscribe icon will be next to it. Okay, now for the fun part, let's add some animation. It's simple. You first click on the object or words you want to animate. Everything on the screen you can animate if you want to, by the way. You can build in or build out, but for this, I'll just add the action because that's how I usually do it.
You can click on build order at the bottom to change the sequence of objects to animate. You can click preview to see how everything will turn out. So I'm not too happy with the intensity of the action, so I'm going to go back to tweak a few things. Okay, so I'm pretty much happy with this. This is how I usually have my end screen. It's very minimal. The subscribe icon will be here and two videos will be in the blank space in the middle. To export your design, click File, click Export To, and choose QuickTime because you want to export this as a video so that you can add it at the end of your YouTube videos. So change it to 0 seconds and 1080p on the format. Click Next, and then Export. You can also save the Keynote document so that you can go back to it in the future in case you want to change something. Now I'm going to show you quickly how I attach this at the end of my videos. I simply drag it into Final Cut Pro or iMovie or whatever you're using. So the thing to remember is that end screens are 20 seconds long. I'll just copy paste the video so that it fills out the 20 seconds and it will just repeat itself. Okay, finally, we're nearing the end of this tutorial. The last thing I'm going to show you is how to add the videos and subscribe icon on YouTube. So I'm going to go to my latest video and click edit. Go to end screens and annotations. I'll just delete what I have now so that I can show you how I did it. So just click on add element and create the subscribe button and I'll place it where I pointed the arrow on my video. The next two things I'm going to add is my most recent video and the best for viewer video. You can attach whatever video you want to. So it will look like this at the end of the video. So I'm just going to add some finishing touches and that's about it really. Click save to save your work. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Please give this video a thumbs up if it's helpful to you and subscribe to my channel if you want more tutorials like this one. Comment below what you want my next tutorial will be because you might be responsible for my next video. Shout out to Miss O'Leary Travels and Jetlag Warriors for suggesting this video. I'll see you guys next week. I'm aiming for new videos every Friday. Bye.